Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with Ecom Insiders. And tonight we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna do a little bit of live stream. I've got some free time here tonight. I've just finished up my work for the day. So I thought I'd come on and do a live product research, product research session uh, with you guys. Hopefully we can you know, go ahead and find some cool products. Hopefully maybe you guys can go ahead and tech some of these products away and launch them and make a lot of money with them, which is obviously cool. I've done this. Couple of times in the past and it always gets good feedback people like it people enjoy it and of course you know you can just ask questions throughout this stream uh, as well which would be pretty cool and um, so if you're watching on the replay please do ahead go ahead drop a thumbs up down below uh, it really helps out the channel but hopefully you'll be able to see kind of the process that i go through this is pretty much the i, I use a couple of other methods to find products but what we're going to be doing tonight is using AdSpy, which is my favorite product research tool. Most of you guys know that. I use it all the time. I talk about it all the time because it simply works, right? My method for going out there and finding products with drop shipping is simply to see, you know, what's working out there already and how can we tech what's working, improve it, and make more money with it. So let's see, we're starting to get a few people in here. I can see we've got Thomas. What's up, my man? So if you can hear me, you can see everything fine. Uh, you can see big Donald Trump on the screen over there. Go ahead and put a one in the chat, let me know, uh, and I hope we'll get started here and get streaming, get some uh, some product research done. Going out there and finding, just pause that because I can hear myself. Um, but yeah, it's been a while since I've actually went and done you know, a product research stream or any streaming at all. We used to do these every Saturday, uh, which was a lot of fun. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started and kind of go through my criteria here on AdSpy. If you guys have been you know, with me any length of time or watch the channel for any length of time, uh, you know that I like to go in here and look on AdSpy roughly in the last, you know, seven to 14 days. It might be a little iffy because obviously we're just past uh, Black Friday right now. So, you know, a lot of the ads, a lot of the good ads are probably going to be Black Friday ads, which have done very well. Uh, but we'll see once we do the research. So, yeah, if you guys have any ch uh, questions in the chat, let me know. Thomas says the Econ Fuel is still working. Um, so, it's not Econ Fuel anymore, it's who's selling what, but yeah, the app still works and the products. We still upload three products per day uh, inside who's selling what. If you're having any issues with it, just shoot me an email uh, and let me know. We'll get that sorted for you. Uh, but yeah, let's get cracking and get, get started here now that people are coming in. Uh, Quinta says, is your course up to date? Yes, it's up to date with our 2019 uh, strategies. I will be going ahead and adding some more content to it um, coming into, into 2020 as well, though. I'm changing my model a little bit and where I'm going with e-commerce, but everything in the course, I uh, you know, applies totally to to drop shipping. But I just want to add a more uh, branded side to it and kind of more on what we're doing right now with our stores. Um, but yeah, it's 100% up to date and is working right now. So let's go ahead. And this is ad spice. So what I'm going to do is look for ads that have been created in the past week or so. So I'm just going to go from the 24th there on Sunday through to Thursday the 5th. Uh, and then scene between, I'm just gonna do the same. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we wanna look obviously just on the Shopify platform. So it allows us to only show ads that are being ran to Shopify stores. Obviously, you know, you've got some people out there maybe on Commerce HQ or WooCommerce. Um, we're not too worried, you know, the majority of ads for dropshippers and dropshipping products are going to be, you know, on a Shopify store. So let's uh, see what else we want. So countries, I'm gonna go for the United States. Um, we will also do a search soon here where we look at kind of worldwide because United States is good, um, but sometimes there's products that just don't work in the United States. They're not right for the culture. They're not right for the kind of fit. Um, and you'll find that they run well in maybe Europe or you know just kind of worldwide in general or different markets depending on the product. So I'm gonna select United States first though to kind of see what's working in the States because it's the biggest market uh, that we can actually sell in, right? uh let's see what classes do you recommend for seo so i don't do any seo stuff to be honest with you it's not something when you're drop shipping it's not something that you really focus on i'm with my my brands one of our stores actually gets a lot of free traffic from google we get about 200 visitors a day from google from free traffic and i've never done any seo on the store it's a drop shipping store we've ran it for about two years the same store i'm and I'm assuming it's just got ranked because we drive a lot of traffic to a lot of different pages on the site. So it's just ranked up there. And it's the same with my personal brand. I'm ranked for some Shopify keyword terms. I'm up there pretty highly. It's not something I've ever focused on or my team we've ever tried to rank for. 
it's just happened organically for us. Obviously, there is people out there who specialize in SEO and, and are really good at that. That's not me, but I, I find that over time, when you drive enough traffic and send enough people to your site, it's eventually going to start ranking up there um, organically. But obviously, that's, that's probably not what you're you're looking. So once we put in this criteria right here, I like to filter first by likes, just so we can see in the last two weeks, what is the most liked post on AdSpy? Uh, and you've got to realize that this is not all of the posts on Facebook's ads by is a scraping tool that's going out there and scraping ads at the SC. So obviously we're not seeing everything here, but we're seeing some good stuff. And like this product here, I've tried it so many times uh, in the past three years because it always comes about. This is this kind of a little bit of a different version and people seem to kill it with it. I've never been honestly able to make it work. Um, but yeah, if any of you guys tried this product, let me know in the chat if you've ever tried this like in between the car seat thing to stop the clutter in your car. Let me know if you've ever tried that because I've never been able to make it work, unfortunately. Uh, so SpongeBob stuff, probably not gonna be running that. Uh, give your kids the gift of singing this Christmas, you'll love it. Uh, four in one wireless karaoke mic. So that's maybe pretty cool product right there. Um, if we take a look at AliExpress, wireless karaoke mic. So obviously coming up to Christmas and Christmas parties, this could be a cool uh, product or else like kind of targeting and um, maybe like the you know the Asian market to love karaoke uh, and targeting them could be a potential target market for this. And obviously just targeting like karaoke and the interest might do well. Uh, Thomas says, yeah, he's tried it, it failed miserably. Uh, that's unfortunate. Wireless karaoke mic. Wireless karaoke microphone. So let's take a look. And guys, if you're watching, you're enjoying the stream, please do go drop a like on it. Hit that we like button down there. It helps me out a ton. Uh, and the more likes you get, the longer I'll stay on and answer your questions. And if any of you guys have questions about your stores and stuff like that, obviously just drop them in the chat. I'm here just to, to chill out, hang out tonight um, and answer your questions. So this looks like the mic, the exact mic that they're running. It seems to be a big variable uh, price here, anywhere from like 1294 here to 308 over here. Uh, but what you'll find, and this is something you'll see a lot on AliExpress, is yeah, this one's 308, but the shipping's 511, whereas this one's 1294 with free shipping. Obviously, still a big difference. This one's only eight dollars, but a lot of time you'll find that a lot of AliExpress sellers will build the shipping price into the price of the product. Um, so that's something to watch out for. But we can see this one here, 436 to 917. Uh, so obviously this is how they get you as well. Like, oh, it's 423, but then it's just a mic stand. Um, so you can get both of them for 888, or you can pick up this product for 846. So pretty cool product. It's getting definitely getting a lot of engagement over here. Uh, 38,000 likes, getting not crazy amount of shares or comments, but it is getting shares and comments. So let's take a look at their their store uh, and see if there's any, how much they're selling it for and if there's anything crazy going on. Um, so we can see here it's 29.95. So that meets my criteria for a product in terms of uh, the price to the selling ratio. So I like to buy a product for, or sorry, I like to sell a product for minimum three times what I'm actually going ahead and buying it for. So right here, we can see if we can get this for 846, uh, free shipping, but we probably want to ship it out with something that's not uh, China Post, but we can ship it out with ePacket. It's a little expensive. You might want to go to a sourcing agent, see if you can get something cheaper on this or something better. Uh, that's the United Kingdom. Let's look at the States. Uh, so, oh, we actually get free shipping to the States with ePocket uh, on this product. So that's how I'd recommend starting off if you're testing this, is testing it just on AliExpress, using ePocket and AliExpress suppliers is fine. And then you want to go and hit up a sourcing agent. If you're in my course, you get access to our sourcing agents. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the recommendation I go for. Here looks like the, the store, you know, it's reasonably good feedback here. Uh, and it's been open for three years now, which is a good sign. Um, and it looks like this gets a reasonable amount of orders, you know, on here, 3,000 orders. So this is definitely a product that I would consider testing. And especially because the product that's, or the ad that's winning, literally just an image, right? There's nothing crazy about this. They've just took this, put it into Photoshop and put a Christmassy background on it. Something that you guys can definitely do right now to uh, bump up the conversions on your ads and, and decrease CPMs is doing stuff like this on your ads where you're adding that Christmas glittery effect. effect. I actually mentioned this in a previous video where we have on our ads like a glitter effect over the top of them and it just helps your ads stand out in the feed one and then obviously with the Christmas effect here it's just on a uh, season or on trend you're going out there and you know being Christmassy right so and everyone was giving me abuse in one of my videos for 
uh, having the Christmas tree up so early. That was, that was my girlfriend did that. That was not um, me, but look, it's, it's never too early for Christmas, right? Especially when you're making money from it, you know? Do you recommend going uh, for CBO from the start? So CBOs, I only use when I'm scaling. I'm not going out there and using CBOs to test. I still don't really like it for testing unless I'm testing, you know, products that I already knew work. Uh, but if I'm trying to find like specific audiences that work or specific creatives that work, I like to go out there and just test them with uh, EBU or, you know, just the standard ad set level budgets. Uh, and so using them to find the winning audiences and then you can put them winning audiences in the CBOs to scale. There's really no need for a CBO to be for, for testing, you know? Hopefully that ans answers your question. Uh, so that's product number one. Definitely something that I will be taking a deeper look into after the stream. They've got 1,500 reviews here. I'm pretty sure that's not true. Um, they must have imported these from, from AliExpress. Let's take a look at the reviews. So I think this one had like 700 reviews or so. 750 reviews. I wonder, does it have... So these are like really good reviews that they're getting. Uh, and it looks like the product actually is, you know, pretty damn good quality. So... These are like really good photos that, you know, that's not great there, but you know, it's really cool that you can go out there and, oh, so this one says, this is a waste of money. It's broken. will not come back. It's really weird. You see that in AliExpress where it's like four star, but it, it didn't work. Um, so yeah, it looks like these guys, the packaging is arriving a little broken sometimes, which isn't great, but a lot of good uh, photo reviews there that you could use obviously them images on your stores. And these guys have built like a one product store around it, which is smart. Um, you know, this doesn't really look like a drop shipping store in my opinion. It looks you know, like, a, like a proper store, right? Like they've got the, the talent one product store, which is good, but I would test it out on a, on a general store first. And then if you can get it to work, potentially move it over. That's product number one. You can see they're selling it here. They've probably got a lot of ads running because it's working so well for them. How do you price your product considering also there's cost of ads so that you can have a profit at the end once you get the product from AliExpress and cost of marketing? So Connie, that's where I just mentioned this, maybe you're just joined in on the stream, but uh, that's why we, we mark up at least 3X. So this product here, we're, we're, you know, we can buy it and ship it out for $8.54 and we can sell it for $29.99. So we've got at least a 3X uh, margin or a 3X markup on that. So we've got $21 that we can spend on marketing. So if we can get, let's say, 11 to $15 purchases and make $5 in every unit we sell, I'd be happy with that, right? And then you've got all the other stuff like buying other products and upsells and people multi-buying and stuff like that. So that's kind of where you want to be. Um, for lower price stuff that you're buying for like a dollar, you can sell it for like $10, $15 very easily uh, if it has a good perceived value. But that's where a lot of people go wrong when they start drop shipping is they think, oh, I'm buying this for $8 in AliExpress and I need to sell it for like $13. And it never works, right? That's the, the rule number one is the economics behind it has to work. You have to give yourself enough margin. And if you're selling a $25 to $30 product, I'd say like at a minimum, if you're doing extremely well, you're going to get like $7 to $10 purchases at some sort of reasonable scale, right? You can get, you know, two, $3 purchases on products for a while at small budgets, but when you start to bump them budgets up past, you know, $1,000 a day, it's gonna get a little bit more expensive. So that's kind of the, the, the metrics that I like to work within. When you get a little higher price, like maybe you're buying something for $50, then you can kind of lower that markup a little bit because you've more room there in terms of margin, right? So you can, you know, if you're buying a $50 product, you maybe sell that for $100, you still got $50 to work with uh, for cost per acquisition or you know your marketing spend so if you can get sales at forty dollars and make ten dollars per unit you're still making money right uh let's see james i'm watching you for years i want to make a coffee brand and make an e-com store to sell the coffee beans online and make a subscription program i'm thinking about instagram but also adwords and facebook to advertise profit margin on coffee is low like five to eight dollars so i want to ask you if it's worth spending my time building something like that so for something like a coffee brand, and I've actually looked into this uh, years ago, I, I looked into it, you can kind of, um, you can go out and you can mark up your products. So a coffee company that I would look at is Black Rifle Coffee, I believe, uh, or some something similar to that. Yeah, so blackriflecoffee.com, these guys kill it. You're not probably not going to be able to go out there and start a coffee brand just selling generic coffee 
to, to customers. It's not going to work. There has to be a reason um, why you're starting it. You have to potentially go out there and solve some sort of problem or, you know, at least go out there and find some other company that's solving a problem and do a similar thing to them and then having a story behind it, right? So these guys are not just selling coffee. They're selling a lifestyle, right? They're big into their guns. You want to see all their, ad their adverts are really, really good uh, where they're, you know, doing cool stuff. They're going to, you know, shooting ranges and they're blowing stuff up uh, and it's really, really cool. But they're selling coffee here for $14.99 uh, and I'm pretty sure they buy that for maybe $2, $3 a buy max. And then they've got shipping on top of that as well where they're probably making a little bit of profit. So coffee, it's, it's definitely tough. Uh, I would say you have to have really good branding behind it. Um, but I think it's definitely uh, better opportunities out there than, than going down that route, unless you have a reason to go down it, right? You've got Black Rifle Coffee here. You've got Bulletproof Coffee, right? The Dave Asprey's brand where he started with the coffee and it had you know something different about their beans, which doesn't give you kind of the, the coffee dip during the day. And that was kind of their selling point. So you have to have something like that if you really want to make it work. Uh, let's see. What are some good kitchen products to drop ship? Honestly, not too sure. I've never really done too much stuff in the in the kitchen niche. We'll see if we can find some here. There's all this stuff trending, but I've never been able to make. It's never been anything that I've tested has never worked so well in the kitchen niche. It's never been my thing that has went and blown up for me. You know, uh, I mean, it's spent over three thousand seven hundred dollars in ads so far, and I'm profitable for sure on interest. But for some reason, I can't get LLS profitable. I know how to make it. So this is honestly something I've been noticing as well over the past two or three months. Um, interests are performing better than lookalikes. Uh, that's what I've been noticing in my accounts. We'll occasionally get lookalikes that, you know, specific audiences or specific lookalikes that just blow everything out of the water and do well. But what I'm finding is just kind of bigger audiences. So five, 10 million that are interests work well. And you've also got the side of that where it's maybe lookalikes that are 10%. And this obviously depends on your niche as well. But I'm finding interests are generally working better. And it's a small amount of audiences that we're actually running. So we might do a lot of testing on audiences, but the majority of our revenue is coming from, you know, it's this 80-20 rule in, in play. 80% of our revenue is coming from 20% of the audiences that we're running. Um, so I would focus on the ones instead of like trying to worry of why are my lookalikes not working? Well, if interests are working and they're extremely profitable, let's, let's focus more on them and dive more into them. See if you can increase the budget, see if you can optimize maybe, uh, you know, your placements, your platforms uh, and stuff like that and try and squeeze more out of them interest rather than worrying about why your lookalikes aren't working. Obviously, I would, I would keep trying them, maybe keep adjusting them and you know, test different interests, it's obviously, sorry, different lookalikes, there's so many that you can do. Um, what I like to test and what works well for us is, well, one 10% audiences in, on our store works really well just for the product that we're selling right now. Um, and then also what works well is high value orders. So it obviously depends on your uh, your kind of history on your store. Um, but what's working well for us is AOV over $100. For this, for you, that might be like, you're selling a $30 product. So AOV over $40, you might do that, but ours, we sell, um, our, our AOV is pretty high, it's like $70, so we do AOV over 100, uh, and we put them people into a specific audience, and that gets us like higher quality uh, leads in their lookalike audiences. Uh, let's see. Do you need social media presence, such as Instagram, to be successful in dropshipping? Not at all, like most of our drop shipping products that work well are just simply on a page that has a pretty shitty logo and we're just running them. You, you don't need, if you're using pad traffic, you don't need any presence at all. And that's the beauty of pad traffic. You don't have to spend years and years building up an audience. And while I think there's so much value in spending years and years building up an audience, it's not good for building cash flow right away. Pad traffic is great for just finding something that works and then going and, and scaling it you know, so fast, whereas you don't have the ability doing that with organic. Uh, these are pretty cool. We're doing stuff in the custom niche as well. If people weren't Business Builder Live, they, they would have seen some of the stuff we're doing, but you can see how many comments this is getting. Compared to up here, the karaoke mic, 38,000 likes and 107 comments, 18,000 likes, 4,800 comments. That is, is really, really cool. Um, so obviously these are awesome and 
where are you going to get them? You're probably asking like, how am I going to do this? I would say you might actually be able to find these. On, I'm going to look at the name of these. You might be able to find them on AliExpress, but you're definitely going to be able to get these on Etsy. And it's a great Christmas present. And look at this. Like this is like the worst drop shipping website I've ever seen in my life. They don't even have a logo. Their, their website's kind of horrible, right? It's it's just a it's a default Shopify theme. Um, so these are definitely off AliExpress. Let me see if I can find this. Put your name in here. Really easy to do this. Get your loved one a special Christmas gift. So what would that be? Custom letter light or something like that? I'm kind of confused as what to look for. Personalized is probably a better word. Personalized letter uh, light or lamp maybe. What do you guys think? Uh, so I'm going to look at Etsy. I think Etsy is a better place to look for this, but I've seen them Batman ones for sure on uh, AliExpress before. So personalized name lamp. Uh, these are pretty cool. Obviously, they're very expensive. What are these guys selling these for? $29.99 is cheap. So... Let's see, I'll get to your guys' questions in a second. I'm just this is kind of how I get deep into my research. Is like, where can I find this? What do I need to look for? Uh, but let's see, personalized name light. Uh, basically, marketing over an ecom store. Yeah, so like you can see here, these guys are. Most likely doing very well for this. Their, their store looks shit. They're putting no effort into it, but the product's good. And their marketing, well, their, their marketing's simple as well, but it just works. Like whenever you, you have a good product um, that stands out, it works well. You don't have to put too much effort into your store when you're doing like general drop shipping. Uh, personalized letter. We got letters here, but no lights in them. What do they call it on their store? Custom lights. Okay, I, I don't want to spend too much time looking at this, but custom letter light. We're starting to get a little bit closer to what we're looking for. Uh, I'm gonna leave this one for now. Uh, but I'm going to try and find out later because something like that, it just works well, you know? And I think these are, these are definitely custom letter lamp. We got the J. That one's had the name in it, which is pretty cool. I really like that about it. You go to orders. Okay, I'm going to leave it here. We can't find it, but it's a good product. So, you know, it, when you can't find stuff, and even if we, I'm sure with more time, I'll be able to find that. But even if you can't find, like we can't find that in AliExpress, you can definitely hit up suppliers of similar things and ask them, you know, can you make this? Because it's pretty sure it's just like laser cut bits of wood put together. So it's not that complicated in terms of manufacturing. Um, so definitely cool product. I like it. Uh, and obviously coming up to Christmas, it's a great present. So it's maybe a bit late now if you're just getting started on that project, but it's, it's something to think about for next year. So let's see, let's answer some of your questions. And guys, if you're enjoying this, you like this sort of stream, please do go ahead and drop a like down below so that I know. And hit subscribe if you're new here, if you find the channel through here, hit that like button. Uh, it really helps out and I'll, I'll do more of these streams if you guys help me out and go hit that button. Uh, so let's see. I've had some good success with my ads, but I'm terrified of my account getting banned or shut down. How would you go about backing up one ad account uh, spending $100, $200 a So first things first, it's gonna happen. Sooner or later, you're going to get an account banned. Uh, it, it's gonna happen whether you're running sketchy stuff or you're running perfectly clean stuff, right? You're going to get shut down uh, at sooner or later. We're getting shut down. We actually haven't been in the past two weeks, which has been really nice. We They were very nice to us over Black Friday. But before that, for weeks, I was getting accounts account shut down every single day. Then it would be the account. And then I'd appeal it. I'd get the account back. And then the business manager would get shut down. And I'd appeal it and get it back. And it's like, why are you disabling this? 
whenever you're giving it back to me a couple of you know whenever i appeal it it's it's annoying it's going to happen so what you want to do is just have multiple accounts uh, obviously make as many accounts inside your business manager as you can right now and then you're going to have to have so you can get two business managers per person and hopefully your personal profile doesn't get disabled if your personal profile gets disabled then you're going to have to get a friends or family members account and use it um so it's kind of just there's ways around it right you you it's part of the game you're going to have to hustle to get to, to move don't worry too much about it you know if and you're only spending 100 to 200 dollars per day so nothing crazy is going to happen but when you're at scale and you're maybe doing 10k per day and you're losing a count it sucks so you want to make sure you got backups and what you can do is literally just export your ad account so if you go into your ad account there's a little button that says export you can export it as a csv and then just upload that file again into a new ad account and just link your pages and pixel and stuff and it'll just instantly start running those campaigns again obviously sometimes it takes a little bit longer to optimize um, but you can do that really quickly uh, when do you need to make a video ad? When you need to make a video ad, do you outsource or do you use software? How do you source the images for the video ad as a supplier? I want to use images to work with. So there's different ways around it. Um, sometimes I'll make them myself just inside Camtasia or Premiere Pro. Uh, I'm not the greatest at making like videos or editing. So what you can do is go to like Fiverr or something like that and get an editor there. Generally, when you're starting out and testing products, we're just using kind of like ripped YouTube footage and stuff like that. And when you do that, you are at risk of getting copyright strike. So take that with a pinch of salt. But then the next kind of step up from that is going to Fiverr and ordering videos from people on Fiverr. So send them your product. You can send it from like uh, Amazon or eBay or something like that to get it there really quick to them. And uh, so you can go ahead and do that and they'll fill them a video for it get that footage so you don't necessarily want to get like an edited video back from them you just want to you know get them to take footage of your product in use so then you can use that footage and edit it into multiple different ads and that gives you kind of more longevity out of the content and then you can order it in you can you know eventually get to the point where you maybe have an in-house content creator or you know you're ordering the products and maybe learn how to create content yourself or you're just hiring a videographer to come in uh, maybe once a week or once a month and you've got all the products there and just get them to do a big shoot there where they shoot all the content for your product. Or you can use like outsource services uh, where you can go ahead and, and do that. So let's have a scroll on down here and see. Uh, this product here, been around for a while, doing well again, I can see. So I'm really interested in, uh, I think that this is awesome, right? Look at this, look how they've done this ad. This is really cool. Uh, I really love personalized stuff right now, but sometimes I whisper I miss you and I believe that you can still hear me. So obviously this is like, a, this item is really lovely and a work in memory of my parents, right? So that's awesome in, in itself. It's a cool necklace. But look at the way they've done this ad. It's as if this is a tweet, right? They've made it look like a tweet. So this is probably just, um, I would imagine, just made in some like Twitter mock-up creator. Uh, they've went ahead and created this and it's getting really good shares. So this is probably people like, sharing this with their brother and sister uh, about their loved ones or parents who, who that miss. Um, so that's really, really cool. And they're doing it for free, right? So let's take a look at this. This is a free plus shipping funnel. Let's go to shop now and see how they're doing it. So I wonder where they're getting this from. Uh, well, this is actually not personalized, so you can get this on AliExpress most likely. Sometimes I whisper I miss you. Let's take a look. So I'm really hoping that with this, they're, they've got a nice upsell funnel in place. But sometimes with free plus shipping stuff like this, you can just make money on the front end because they're so cheap. So sometimes I miss you. Necklace. There we go. So exact same product. This is costing them $2 to ship out. And I love like free plus shipping. Like people say free plus shipping doesn't work anymore. It, it does, right? It, it, it simply does. It's how I got started in e-commerce, selling free plus shipping slingshots. I made over $100,000 selling free plus shipping slingshots three years ago, and that was like my first ever big, big product. Free plus shipping slingshots and free plus shipping dog collars is how I got started. And then earlier this year, we did over 100K selling free plus shipping gaming glasses. They still work, and we, we couldn't make any upsells work on that, which sucked. Uh, with necklaces, though, and stuff like that, when you do free plus shipping, you can get... Uh, you can get them to work, right? So what they're doing is optimal order quantity here too. So they're trying to entice you to buy two. So, so cheap to, to sell. Uh, really cool product. Uh, I think that's that's cool. It's a good product to test for sure.
Let's see. So let's answer some of your questions. There's another product. We've got a couple of products in here tonight that you can definitely go and test. I'm going to test this after this call because uh, I, I love free plus shipping. It just it brings me back to when I got started. It's, it's what made me all my initial money. It allowed me to quit my job, which is cool. Uh, install Ali Hunter extension on your Chrome and you can find suppliers. Oh, cool. I mean, tech, I'll take a look after the call with that, but I appreciate it, man. Uh, when you test a product in a general store to use custom conversion. No, so it's just a, a general pixel across the whole store. The pixel doesn't, um, so the pixel just, it's just like a little beacon that sends data back to your ad account. So your ad account optimizes on the ad set and campaign level. And your pixel is just a little bit of code that sends that data back to your ad account. When you test a product, uh, budget recommended to start a store. I'd recommend having at least $500, possibly. Um, I'd, I'd, it'd be nice to have a thousand dollars. It would be, that would kind of be the best um, optimal starting point. Uh, a site who sell digital product from 20 to $80 with 1500 traffic per day. How much normally can you make? I know that you can't know 100% because you don't know the conversion rate, but let's say a minimum and the higher. So if they're selling 20 to $80 digital products with $1,500 traffic per day. It really depends. Like where's the traffic coming from? If it's cold traffic, it's probably going to be a fairly, it's going to be a lower conversion rate. But if you're selling digital products and you've got a YouTube channel that's sending $1,500, 1500 visitors per day, you're probably making good money. Um, it's hard to say, you just run the numbers. Like let's say it gets a 1% conversion rate, which is low, right? Uh, so 1% conversion rate, AOV is $40. So for every 100 people that send to the site, they make $40. And um, so 15 times 40 is what? $400, $600. So they're making $600 down the low side, possibly $1,800 to, yeah, $1,800 to let's say $2,400, maybe $3,000 per day. And the higher test CBO or ad set level budget, I test with ad set level. Okay, so let's jump through another couple of uh, another couple of products here. These this, these guys are, are killing it. Um, they've stole this ad. They're not the original people, but this ad it kicks ass. That's why I'm going to show this ad to you guys because it's just so it works so well. These guys have stole this from another brand. That's not, I'm pretty sure, let me double check, but I'm pretty sure that's not the name of the brand that does that content. So I'm assuming these guys have stole this and they're just, yeah, so these photos, all of this is from that, the brand that actually owns it. Um, so they've stole all this. I don't recommend doing that. That's not, not cool. Um, but they're just selling probably AliExpress shippers for you know 13 pound get them in aliexpress you can get them for like three four or five dollars uh but the ad is so good and and that ad is has blown up um obviously for these guys but the initial people who launched it it did so well for them as well let's see this what are these socks bombas she looks like a sock brand oh, that's pretty cute cute little baby blanket Let's see what else we got. So there's Black Rifle Coffee. They actually showed up because their ads are so good. They're always on this. Uh, let's see. Here at Black Rifle Coffee Company, things are. I'm not gonna play that for five minutes, but you should check out their ads because they're so good. Uh, and here's another product in one of my recent videos. I told you guys to sell this, and they're selling it again. So it's uh, really good. Watch my product research video. I've also got this turned yellow brand over here. Obviously, uh, Chris can really talk to, about them, and they look like they're doing pretty good with this ad right here. Granny, I know I get you a lot of crazy gifts, but I think I got you the best. Oh, that's that the crazy granny woman. That's one ever. Short. Open your eyes. Whoa, that is so cute. I like it. That's so cool. I, I love her. She's so funny. Um, that's really that's a really cool brand deal to do. Uh, like instead of just going to some you know influencer who has a hundred thousand followers, it sucks. This is cool because 
I'm pretty sure everyone on the internet knows that granny, right? And due to the nature of their like pages and stuff like that, I don't think the brand deal is going to be that expensive for what you're going to get from it. Because I think that content and that ad, it's going to do so well because people know her. Uh, so they're relating that to your brand as well. I think that's a really cool strategy. Uh, is $650 to $700 a good amount to test and scale with Facebook ads? Um, it, it could be. If you find a winner, then you're kind of just reinvesting your money as you go. Um, so yeah, definitely, for sure, it, it could be. So if you guys have any other questions, drop them down below. And go ahead and hit that like button, guys. I really appreciate it. We got 53 people on here. We've only got 15 likes, so I'm not happy with that at all. Go hit the like button if you're watching this right now. And let's get this up to at least 25 likes. Right now, go ahead, click the button. Click the button or I'm adding the stream. It's all over. I'm deleting my YouTube channel. We don't get 25 likes. It's not, it's not that hard. So let's take a look, see what else we can find here. And if you have any questions, drop them in. I'll answer them as long as you hit the like button. You can't ask a question without hitting the like button. That's not allowed. That's illegal. Um, lightsaber umbrella, pretty cool product. Okay, so look at this. This is right here. This ankle bracelet with the little kind of custom. It's just with a letter, so it's not really custom. But I bet you this is banging. Let's see. So bit.ly link, little bit.ly hack here, paste the bit.ly link in, put a plus on the end of it, and we can see all the traffic stats. Uh, so 8,500 uh, clicks. It's getting like a thousand clicks a day right now, so probably making anywhere from like 500 to thousand dollars per day on that. And let's see, so 707 comments. Let's see how much they're selling this for. Oh. Quick shop night. Okay, so we, I can see the likes going up, guys. Appreciate them. Uh, so you just got all your letters in here, obviously. $24.99 they're selling this for. But I think what we could do with this is go ahead and look this up. So 24k gold on clip. I'm going to look this up on AliExpress. 24k gold anklet. Let's see if we can find the one with a letter on it. Initials. I don't know if that'll come up or not. Yeah, no, that's not that's not gonna work for us. 24 go letter. Here we go. So again, so cheap. 199 to 239. That's ridiculously cheap. Comes in a nice velvety bag. Obviously not 24 karat gold, so probably don't advertise it as that, but works, uh, looks really cool. Works well, it's working well for them. I think I'm gonna test that too. I like that. We got this one, this one. Cool. Uh, done, appreciate it guys. Thanks for the likes. Let's take a look now and see. Oh, so we're back to the top. Damn. Let's scroll on down. Wigs have been doing, I, I see wigs all the time and like wig brands and wig drop shipping stores and they seem to kill it. It's not something I've ever got into. I think there's a lot of different, um, you know, there's a lot of different kind of qualities uh, and stuff like that with them. Um, but yeah. So when we ship the item directly to the customer from AliExpress, does the shipping tech long? If so, how do you deal with it? So yeah, it can take obviously longer than if you're buying something from Amazon, right? Uh, so what you want to do is start with AliExpress. And when you're using e-packet shipping, it's going to take, at this time of year, it's going to be a little longer, but generally seven to 14, possibly 21 days. And the biggest thing that you have to be concerned about is being upfront with the customer. If you're upfront with the customer initially, and you, know, you tell them, look, it's going to be that, that's going to limit a lot of customer service queries about people asking. Then the next level of that is the customer's gonna ask, you know, within maybe five days, hey, where's my product? I haven't received it yet. And then you tell them, look, you know, it says on our page up to three weeks. We're super busy right now. We've got a lot of orders to handle, but it's on its way uh, and it'll be with you soon. And then the next kind of step, if they come back again, is give them a little discount code. And then by that time, hopefully the product's there. But 
the biggest thing that these people are worried about is, oh my God, I've been scammed. I, I'm not receiving anything. So as long as you've got a good support team there and you're answering their support questions, that eases a lot of the pain and a lot of the friction. They just want to know that there's someone behind your company, there's someone answering the emails and that's fine. Because look, if someone scammed them, they're just going to not reply. Like, no, why would anyone scam and then put support people on the desk? So that eases a lot of people and you're going to get 1% of your customers, 2% of your customers who are just extremely angry people. They're very angry and they go ahead and just complain the whole time. Uh, and that's going to happen. If people are really angry or complaining a lot, we just refund them, right? There's no need for us to, you know, just refund them, move on to the next people. There's plenty more people out there. And then what you want to do is uh, you can go ahead and um, move to a sourcing agent, right? So inside our program, we've got sourcing agents. You can go find sourcing agents in Facebook groups. Um, you know, on Facebook groups, or you can find them on AliExpress as well. It's a lot of different places, or just get into a network of other drop shippers. Eventually, you'll you'll meet one, uh, and you can use them, and then you can store them in a warehouse in China, and you can get different shipping lines, better shipping lines, um, uh, and get quicker shipping. So you can get, you know, on one of our brands we ship from China, we generally get like eight to nine day shipping, which is pretty good out of China, uh, and our customers don't mind. Uh, let's see. If you test a creative, do you go for purchase conversions right away or try to get likes and shares? So it depends, right? When we're drop shipping, we're generally going straight to purchase and testing. But if we know that a product works or we're running a product in, for a brand, what we'll do is test with uh, PPE. And on PPE, what we're looking for is kind of the click through rates and clicks. See how cheap they are. Is it getting any add to carts at all? We're not really looking for sales at that point. Uh, but we're going ahead and testing out there. We're not trying to get likes and shares ever. Like that's that's not really the goal. With PPE, we're trying to see the metrics to compare different creatives. So if I launch five different creatives, I'll launch a PPE and see on them which one's performing best. I'm not expecting to get a lot of sales or make a lot of profit from this. It's just to test which ones are you know working the best. Uh do do do. So let's see. How do you, your comment has disappeared. I, I saw this every day, shitty store designs making tons of money with over, yeah, like there's so many stores that have terrible designs that look horrible, but they're making so much money because they've got a good product, right? Or what seems like a good product at least. So let's see what else we can find here. These are pretty cool little Christmas baubles. This sock brand seems to be killing it. I wonder what the difference is about their socks. I'm going to take a look. Uh, open link in a new tab. Let's take a look at these guys. How do you handle returns from different suppliers in AliExpress? So generally what we do is we'll get our customers. So there's different ways you can go about this depending on your store and how you operate. But you can get people to send the stuff back to China. Obviously, people don't like that. They're not going to be happy about it, but it's an option. Uh, we use a service called Viabox. So we get our customers to send it there. And then from Viabox, we can get it sent to either, you know, your house or whatever you want to do with it. Um, but generally, because like if people want to send it back and they're so annoyed about it, because a lot of the products we're selling are so cheap, we'll generally just refund them. And if we get it, to, if it's if it's higher price stuff, we'll get it sent back, right? But if it's like, if we're selling these necklaces that cost us a dollar, it's not even worth them sending it back to us. We'll just refund them the money and tell them to keep the product, right? It keeps them happy um, and it keeps everyone happy. And it's only a couple of dollars, right? And all, this obviously depends on the product. So if you're selling a product that's maybe costing you $50, well, look, people know it's expensive and you know it's maybe worthwhile getting them to send it back to China to get the refund, right? So it just depends on the situation. You've got to kind of play it by whatever you're dealing with at that point. Um, but that's kind of how we, how we deal with it. Uh, okay, cool. So these look like they're just selling like cool Christmas socks. $57 for four socks? That's insane. You gotta be balling to pay $57 for four pairs of socks. I'm not that balling. I'm not balling out enough to pay $57 for, for that amount of socks. About like a fucking 10 pack of socks for like five pound. These things here, like I'm pretty sure these people are just scamming people. There's no way 
They've got like this heart re- heart monitor watch with wireless earbuds for nineteen ninety nine. That's just silly. I've seen them ads before, but it's, they're not sending that out. Them watches cost like seventy dollars in AliExpress. What is this? So here's a kitchen product for all you kitchen product people. Oil proof, waterproof, fireproof, kitchen oil proof stickers is on sale. I want to take a look at this. It's kind of interesting. Let's see what it does. Ah, that's kind of cool. wants a completely gold glittery kitchen it looks pretty damn tacky but people are into that people buy crazy stuff like you wouldn't believe the stuff that we've sold that people buy and i'm like who's buying this but people love weird things let's see how many people are checking this out although to be fair honestly i think this is something that my girlfriend would think look good in our kitchen and go and buy it and i'd be like what are you doing you can see here this is literally just today 4,000 clicks today, and they only launched this a couple hours ago, so get on this tacky looking kitchen oil proof stickers. And I bet there's this huge margins in this for sure. Because like, if you think about it from a logical perspective, like kitchen countertops are so expensive. So if people have got like damaged countertops and they want to kind of spice them up, make them look a little better, obviously this could be a good option. So let's see. Melamis says $57. Whoa, for socks. Exactly. Chew uh, doing. So this here, $15.99. Oh, 12 by 80 inch, 16 by 80 inch, 24 by 80 inch. Let's look at this AliExpress. So what's this called? Like grid kitchen, kitchen oil proof stickers, kitchen stickers. We're finding a lot of products that are hard to find. Kitchen oil. Oh, no, it's there. Damn, this is so cheap, and they're doing so good with this. I have a lot of work to do tonight. I'm going to have to go off soon, because we find a lot of cool products here that are, I think are going to work. And a lot of them are just image ads, which is awesome. This is obviously a little different. We're going to need a video for this, but this is cool. Color 2. See that tacky damn <laughs> gold one. But yeah, like this here costs less than $2 shipped. That's not with ePocket, but it probably costs, let's take a look, to the United Kingdom with ePocket, uh, $152, $3, $3 shipped out, they're selling it for $15.99, that's a good good price. I wonder what size this is, 40 by 100, uh, I'm going to assume that is uh, centimeters, yeah, centimeters, so it's about a meter, or 40 centimeters, so that's not bad, and you're going to get, I would imagine, with that product, if people are going to buy one, they're probably going to buy four or five of them because they're going to need, obviously, as much to cover their you know, their whole area around their sink or whatnot, or around their cooker. So that's really a cool product. I want to, I'm going to open that one up and keep it there because I'm going to launch that. Uh, portable lint remover, clothes, fuzz, saver. A couple of people selling. That looks like the same people, though. Yes, yeah, people with different... Uh, different pages, trying to avoid the page score, I'd imagine. These are pretty cool, but I'd say they're pretty hard to make. To my girl, the day I met you. Ah, it doesn't, it's not custom. So that's a pretty cool product as well. It could do well. I wonder if these guys drop shippers. How long have we been live for? 48 minutes. So we'll probably run up until an hour, guys. Uh, and then we'll I'm gonna hop off and, and get to work on some of this stuff because we've actually found more stuff tonight than I expected to. Uh, especially you know some of these. So kinda kinda annoyed I did this on stream because it's been a lot, a lot of good ones compared to usual. Um oh yeah, I'm gonna definitely stream or sorry, get some of these launched. Like this is wouldn't I love you candles? That's what I'm gonna search. Uh, what would we call that? I I love you candle. What range of profit margins you prefer to have a product? Because I think Facebook cost per purchase these days go above $15 per sale. Like that's, 
that's a bad assumption to make um because if you like it depends so much i can get purchases at 50 cents if i sell my product for free right but obviously there's a you know there's price elasticity there if you charge if you're selling a ten dollar product it's actually quite easy to get purchases under ten dollars if you're selling a hundred dollar product it's going to cost a lot more so it depends on the price of your product you know i would say for like a thirty dollar item it's yeah it's probably going to cost you in around fifteen dollars to get a purchase uh especially at scale so that's kind of my thoughts on that i wouldn't like never assume that just because you're you, there's a lot of people you can see here tonight we're just searching who are being successful with products that cost yeah, ten dollars. Some of them are doing free plus shipping. As I said, we had a lot of success earlier this year with free plus shipping, um, and we were getting purchases at like three, four dollars. But our product was selling for you know free plus seven dollars shipping or nine dollars shipping, whatever we were charging, uh, and it worked well for us. So it's all about testing. Um, but for them cheaper end products, there's definitely you know a little bit of room, um, to to test them cheaper ones. Which one of these products would you personally test? Well, I'm going to test pretty much all of them. Probably not going to test the karaoke thing. I think there's better opportunities now. I think this is a cool product. Definitely going to test it. Uh, probably not going to test that because it's a little hard to source. It's a little more complicated. Um, if I could find these, I would test them. Because these are really quick, right? Like I can just use an image ad for that. Uh, and then I'm probably going to test a couple of these necklaces and stuff like that. If you've only got one to test, it's really just like a, that's just kind of like a luck thing, right? Because you just got to test whatever you can. Um, I'm not sure which one would potentially do better. Because this kind of oil-proof glitter wrap thing is is only launched today and it's doing very well, like 3rd of December. Let's see, this one might actually be a different... Uh, if we actually look up here... So this is a different, I think this is a different, uh, different bit.ly link. So maybe they have been running this for a while to be fair. Let's see if it's the same link. Uh, is that the same? Yeah, that's the exact same link. But you can see since we've been talking here, 4435, they've had 16 visitors to their site. They're getting like 100 visits an hour. They're probably selling three, four of these an hour, uh, which isn't bad. You know, it's, it's money in the bank. So is there any uh, last questions, guys, before I head off? I'm going to head off here in 5, 10 minutes. So if you have any questions, get them in now. Uh, and if you do enjoy these streams, you've enjoyed this, I can see some of the people have been on here since the start. You spent an hour with me tonight, and that's awesome. Um, so if you do enjoy them, please do go ahead and hit that like button. It helps me out a ton. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, and go ahead and hit subscribe if you're new here. Put a 1 in the chat if you're new here, you've never seen my channel before, and you've just arrived because we were live streaming. If that's the case... Go ahead and let me know in the chat. Put a one in right now. I'm curious to see who's a subscriber, who came from my email, who came from, um, you know, who came from somewhere else, right? If, if you just come in organically, that's pretty cool. And if you guys want, I have actually down below in the description included my full course bundle of all the courses I've made in the past two years. Still get it for $397. It was my Black Friday deal, but I thought I'd throw it up here when I'm doing the live stream because why not? Check it out if you want. Uh, it probably will be gone if you're watching this on the replay, though. So when you set up a Facebook ad, you can cancel at any time. Yeah, that's the beauty of Facebook. It's not like going out and buying a billboard where you pay a thousand dollars and you just hope that it works because there's nothing else you can do. With Facebook, you start with a $5, $10 ad per day and let it run. And because you're new to it, you can really spend very little money and get comfortable with the system, right? Get comfortable how it works and, and go ahead and, and do it like that, right? And you can start it and then kill it if it's not working. But if it is working, you spend more money. Uh, it's it's simple. Okay, for my email, uh, Jose is just brand new here. Like and subscribe. Appreciate it, Jose. I hope I'm saying your name wrong. Um, that's cool. There's a lot of people coming in new, which is, is awesome. I appreciate that. Does PPE help with lowering CPMs and does it hurt overall data? I don't think it hurts overall data um, and it can potentially lower your CPMs if it's bringing a lot of engagement into, into your ad. Does your Facebook account have to have followers when you're advertising? Nope. So most of our pages, like I'm going to go launch some of these products tonight. And I don't have pages for that niche. I'm going to create a brand new page, launch it. I will put a, throw up a banner on there, throw up an image on there, maybe create a poster to you on it. Uh, and we'll just launch. We're not worried about how many followers we've got, and that's not going to be a determining factor in whether you do, you know, well or not. 
what's your starting ad set level budget for testing so on these ones because i know they're working and doing well right now and we're on the tail end of christmas and i'm kind of want to attack it and make some money before we can't sell them anymore um probably going to start at 20 to 25 dollars per ad set but that's because i'm a little more aggressive if you're new to this i'd recommend starting lower um you're going out there and starting with maybe 10 15 dollars maybe even five dollars if you're brand new to this and just getting started uh last question does shopify payment stripe holds take longer than a couple of days to sort out so i mean if you get like a stripe or paypal hole, hole it's generally just you, you it's going to be 90 day hold and you have to wait it out there's not much else you can do uh sometimes you can negotiate with them paypal are kind of easier to negotiate with than stripe but stripe you get less issues with um as long as your, your dispute rate isn't high so you can definitely go ahead and negotiate try and negotiate with paypal stripe i've never had any luck negotiating um from a point of they've given me a hold it's pretty much just that's it you've got a hold come back to us in 90 days and we can possibly review it um and that's kind of the situation with them but like don't worry about that like so many people are like I haven't even started drop shipping because I'm worried about my Stripe account. I'm like, what are you worried about a Stripe account for? You haven't even made a seal. Like, make some seals, you know? Um, you'll figure out all this other stuff as it comes. Like, when you, if you're making 5K a day and your Stripe account gets shut down, trust me, you'll figure it out how to get around it, how to get a new Stripe account, how to negotiate with Stripe because you want to get that money back in and you start to solve problems. But if you start to make these problems up in your head before you've even, like, launched a product or launched a store you're never going to get anywhere right take the problems as they come they're going to come and you know thankfully you can watch people like myself and watch videos on how to deal with it how to best deal with it but don't let it stop you from getting started connie williams says uh thanks by the way you give away a product to run with thomas learner run with it my man uh how do you peel a facebook business manager ban so if you get a ban there should be an option in the email that you get or in your business manager uh to go ahead and appeal it in there you should just be able to click the button and appeal the form uh do i have to run ads for my personal facebook account or can i open a different personal profile so i don't recommend opening a different personal profile you have to run them from your personal account but like no one's going to know it's you right so you you set up it you set up a business manager uh, and from that business manager, you create a page. So your page will be like, you know, Connie's business, but don't call it your name. Just call it uh, shop, right? Let's, for example, it's called shop. And you're running from that page called shop. And no one knows it's you running on that page. So it's not like, you know, your personal name's out there running on the, on the business. Uh, was there a way to automatically put description of an item into your shop? So when you import from like Overlo or, or Dropify, Yes, they're going to import the, the AliExpress description, but do not use that description on your store. Definitely do not. I That's a horrible idea, and I don't recommend it. Write your own descriptions. I actually, if you search my channel, I've got videos on how to write descriptions um, and, and use them as a, as a guide or look at what other people are doing on stuff like AdSpy. You guys can access AdSpy as well down below in the description. There's a link there um, to you get AdSpy, get $50 off your first month. So you can check it out. It's a really good tool for, for finding products. You can just see how many we find here tonight. And, um, but yeah, I'd go ahead and, and check that out. I appreciate it. Goal is to hit 5k revenue with 20 profit. Do it, Bob. Bob, that is a hundred percent attainable goal. Uh, so go out there, check it out. And, and I wish you the best of luck, my man. What do you do to stop your page getting negative product feedback so you can't run ads? So there is a couple of different ways about this. Like if you're drop shipping from AliExpress, I would say it's probably only a matter of time before a page gets gets hit. But the best thing to do is probably I inform your customers via you know keep make sure you're communicating with customers, keeping them happy, um, in the in their communication lines of email and your Facebook page and stuff like that, replying to comments. Um, That'll just improve because if you're in contact with people, they're going to be less annoyed. Uh, and then the next thing you want to do is set your delivery time to, I think you can set it to eight weeks. So set it to that and then inform your customers. So have a post purchase flow. So after delivery, it goes out. And when the product's been delivered, it, it shows that, or sorry, it sends them and shows them what they're going to get in terms of the feedback survey. 
um, and tell them that you give them a discount or a coupon code if they give you good feedback in that survey. So that's kind of the best way to kind of preserve a page. And generally that works well and you can keep your page score above a certain amount by doing that if uh, your product quality is good. If your product quality is good and they've had to wait long for the product, they're not really gonna mind. But if they've had to wait a long time for your product and then the product quality sucks, that's gonna suck for them and they're gonna be annoyed at you. Uh, yeah, I'll still launch products this close to Christmas. I'll maybe not scale it crazy, crazy big, but I'll still launch them. Just hit my first 1K as I'm watching this. Thank you very much for the help, mate. I watch all of your videos 1,000% and I can see their mass value. That's awesome, Georgie. You're killing it, man. Keep going and keep pushing harder. You know, $1,000 day is only the beginning. There's so much further that you can go. And that's awesome to see. So I appreciate it. I'm glad you got value from my videos. Uh, that's awesome. What do you do to stop your pH to advance to that? For video view, do you combine the video view for all the creatives you've tested for the LLR or just the winning creative? Uh, so I'll actually, I'll put them all in. So if for any creatives that we've tested, I mean, generally once you find like a winning creative, it's gonna spike massively in views. So it's gonna be the majority. But at the beginning, I'll put them all in because you know, if someone's watching the video and they watch 95%, they're still gonna be interested, right? Okay, guys, so I think I'm going to wrap up the stream here. Uh, I've had a lot of fun. I just thought I'd come on, finish my work uh, earlier on, and thought I'll hop on and do a, a stream uh, with you guys. I've enjoyed it. So if you do like these, you want to see more of these, let me know down below in the comments, especially if you're watching on the replay. And if you're watching this live right now, please go ahead and hit 25, or sorry, hit that like button. We're on 25 likes right now. Let's get this up to 30 before we end the stream. And before we end, we do have all them links down below. Check out the links in the description. There is obviously that Black Friday deal that you can access for a while, maybe not on the replay. Um, there's a link to AdSpy. Uh, there's also a link to my Twitch channel where I might be streaming some Call of Duty at some time later this week. So if you want to follow me over on Twitch where it'll be a similar stream to this, I'll probably answer some questions um, just on stream and be playing some games. I like to play uh, at night sometimes to chill out play some COD. The new COD is, is awesome. If you guys like Call of Duty, it I love it. it. It brings me back to Modern Warfare 2 days, which is what I spent my, that whole year of Modern Warfare 2 is just come home from school, play Call of Duty for hours on end. And that's kind of what this one feels like. And I really did enjoy that. Um, so yeah, if you follow me down on Twitch, if you're into that sort of stuff, uh, that'd be awesome too. But yeah, I think that's it for this stream, guys. Um, thanks for coming up. Thanks for joining me. We got a really good response. We had like 50 concurrent viewers on here the whole time, which was awesome. Uh, and we've had, I think I can see like 416 um, views in the first hour, which is something my videos have not been doing lately. So hopefully this video goes out and does well uh, once we post it. But uh, yeah, I really, really appreciate it, guys. Chat soon and see you later.